If there's something we've all come across at one point or another, it's a bad cartoon. Something that just looks awful, was produced with low effort, or is straight up not entertaining. In all of these cases, we simply dismiss the cartoon as being garbage, probably go on Twitter to rant about it for a little bit, and then forget it exists, until millions of reruns get played on the channel. This is the normal cycle hated cartoons take, and needless to say they don't exactly cause lifelong damages or consequences. At least not usually. It takes a special set of circumstances and an especially bad cartoon for that to happen, which is not something that occurs very often. However, that's not to say it's never occurred, because it's where our tragically bizarre story takes us today, to a certain time when a certain cartoon inflicted so much hurt onto its viewer that it allegedly did result in lifelong damages. None other could have accomplished this task as Angela Anaconda did. Angela Anaconda is a cartoon series about the title character Angela and her classmates getting into trouble and going on adventures. The series started out as a segment on Nickelodeon's Kablam, but was later developed into its own series in 1999. Maybe at the time this looked fresh or interesting, but I don't think it holds up well at all today, and again, it plays into the whole bland style. But a kid might view the show in a whole different way. A frightening way. Especially if Angela Anaconda was not even what you were expecting to watch. According to a now infamous post, this kind of encounter is what allegedly happened to one kid back in the day and resulted in chaos for his family. The post states that OP was a big Digimon fan at the time and desperately wanted to see the Digimon movie. His parents were unfortunately in a rocky relationship, but they agreed to take OP as it would be a chance to spend time together and perhaps smooth things over. The family happily makes their way to the theater, eager to watch the Digimon movie as was expected. However, what they weren't expecting was a short to be played before the movie, and yes, this part really exists. An exclusive Angela Anaconda short that depicts the crew as Digimon fans who want to see the Digimon movie with a sequence where Angela digivolves into Angelamon. The crossover itself doesn't make any sense and just seeing all this Digimon promotion in Angela's universe is super unsettling. But back to the story. OP, who remember is just a kid, has no idea what the heck is going on and can't comprehend anything that's happening as the parents sit there just as confused. Eventually, OP starts crying so they all leave the theater. Then, as arguing parents do, they start arguing and blaming each other for seeing the wrong movie. The whole situation is a mess so they drive off in a rush as they leave the theater, which causes them to get into an accident, resulting in the father moving out of their house a month later. Yes, this is the infamous Angela Anaconda divorce story, which is pretty dramatic and could have been completely avoided if Angela did not interject herself in a movie and franchise that had nothing to do with her. The only question that remains is did this family's breakup actually happen? This story was originally posted on the cartoon board of 4chan, so it's anonymous and could easily be made up. But at the same time, it's a really specific and niche thing to have been made up at all, and this series of events are definitely realistic sounding, to the point where they could have actually happened. But it seems like if there's anything to be said about Angela and Akonda, it's the fact that this story has been remembered by so many who are aware of the show, and adds a level of intrigue that the show just doesn't seem to have. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video! Be sure to check out some of my other game-related Glossed Media videos. Thanks for watching, and until next time, Finn.